Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my second stick modding video. Like with the drone, I decided to mod the crystal since I felt that the Quanba parts weren't up to par with other arcade parts on the market. So for this video, we'll be replacing all the buttons and the stick. What you'll need is a Sanwa JLF. This is going to be taken apart and used to replace the Quanba stick. Next is personal preference, but I decided to go with the transparent ball top, as it kind of fits the crystal's aesthetic a little bit more in my opinion. Next are 8 Sanwa buttons, or Seimitsu's if you prefer. We'll be taking these apart later, and we'll be using them to mod the buttons already in the crystal. For tools, we're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, an assortment of smaller flathead and Phillips screwdrivers, and a pair of needle nose pliers. For the sake of brevity, I've taken the cable door off along with the little thing on the other side, whatever that is. So first, we're going to turn the stick over. Now, in order to mod the stick, you will be voiding the warranty. If you're okay with this, then take all the eight screws off and remove the back plate. First, we're gonna be modding the stick. Remove the two connectors off of the stick, just wiggle them back and forth and they should come out fine. Next, unscrew the four screws that are holding the stick in place. After that, using a flathead, hold the ball top and twist it. It'll loosen and then you can pull the stick out. Now we're going to take the stick apart. Unscrew the four screws on the top of the mounting plate and remove it. After that, you'll see the LED board and it's being held down by two screws. Using a smaller screwdriver, remove the two and place them in a safe place. They're small and they will get lost pretty easily. Now, after removing the LED board, Go ahead and put that in the same place you put the screws or wherever else, someplace safe. Now we're going to remove the gate. With the Quanba gate, it'll be a little bit difficult as the tabs are quite resistant. Just push in two at a time and try and lift the gate up. Lift it up one side after the next and after you use enough elbow grease, it should come out just fine. Now remove the PCB and micro switches and set those aside. Now. In this video, I took the whole stick apart. You don't need to do that. In the in my case, I'm replacing the spring on the Quanba with the spring for the Sanwa. If you aren't going to do that, then don't touch the middle of the stick at all. Don't remove the C-clamp or anything like that. Just leave it as it is. You don't need to touch this. If, of course, you're going to end up replacing the spring that's in the Quanba with the spring from the Sanwa stick that you have, Go ahead and remove the C-clamp. In order to do this, take a small flathead screwdriver, stick it into one of the little gaps in the C-clamp, and twist. As it comes out, make sure to apply some more force and it'll come out. Now make sure that you have your hand cupped over it as these things will fly out. It is being held by a several pound spring. Make sure you cup your hand over it and when it pops out, it'll fly into your hand and then you can go store it somewhere safe. Now just remove the stick like normal, take the spring out, and you're good. Now that it's taken apart, set it aside and grab your Sanwa. Just like with the Quanba, we're going to unscrew the mounting plate and remove it. And just like with the Quanba, we're going to pull the gate off. This one will be a little bit easier as the Sanwa isn't as resilient. Just push in the tabs, lift up, and the gate will come off. If like me, you've opted to replace the Quanba spring with the Sanwa one, Go ahead and do what I showed you early in the video. Take the small head screwdriver, pop the C-clamp off, and pull the stick apart. Take the spring and keep it somewhere safe, as we're going to be using this later. Now, taking the PCB and the micro switches from the Sanwa stick, we're going to put it into the Quanba housing. If you don't know where it goes, it's the long straight part on the housing. Just match the 5-pin connector up with that and you'll be okay. Like I said before, the housing is completely taken apart because I originally did go with the Sanwa stick, like the entire part of the Sanwa stick replaced into the Quanba housing. Don't do this as I had some issues where I was missing inputs and corners because of the size or the housing of the stick was different from the Sanwa's. Instead, just use the original Quanba stick and the housing and the parts that are in the stick. You should be okay. We're just replacing the micro switches and the gate. Now, after you put the PCB on, just simply snap the gate on. If your stick came apart, just follow this when reassembling the stick.
Now, after you've put everything back together, push down on the spring and put the C-clamp back on. The trick to putting the C-clamp back on is the needle nose pliers. With the housing pushed down, put the C-clamp into the gap on the stick. Next, grab the needle nose pliers and with enough force, it should just pop back into place. And with that, you have your new Sanwa stick reassembled. All that's left after that is to put the LED board back in and screw the mounting plate back on. Now that your new Sanwa is ready to go, reattach the 5-pin and LED connectors. Now screw the lever back onto your stick. Put the dust and shaft covers back on and screw the ball top on. Make sure that you tighten it down. Now that the stick is in, we're going to be getting to the buttons. Now first, you're going to have to remove the LED connections. And just so you don't get confused, I suggest you do one or two buttons at a time. After that, pull both wires connected to the actual button off. Sometimes they'll come off if you wiggle them, but if they don't, grab the pair of needle nose pliers you have and pull until it pops off. Just make sure you're not doing it too hard and break the wire. Now push both tabs in on the side of the buttons and pull the button out. Now that we have the button, the mod is pretty simple. First push in the tabs on the sides and remove the top of the button. Next, you're going to need your needle nose pliers and pull in the two tabs that are holding the LED board down. Be careful not to damage the board, and after loosening them enough, you should be able to pull the board out just fine. After that, push in the sides of the actual button and remove it. Set those aside as we're not going to be using them. Now get the Sanwa and do the same thing. Remove the top and push the button and remove it. Next, you're going to take the Sanwa button and push it into the Quanwa plunger. Push it down until you hear a click. Now you're going to reassemble the button. Now depending on how easy the board was to take out, it may move around a little bit when reinstalling. If it does, just pull the tabs on it a little bit more and make sure that it's secured in. The LED boards will move around a little bit when plugging it in, but they shouldn't be moving around freely after you've done this. Now just push the buttons back into the stick with the LED connector away from the wire management. Plug the LED connection in first, and then both of the connectors. Now, with some of them, they'll go in just fine, and with others, they might not plug in like they should. If they do that, just take the pliers and crimp them a little bit, and they'll be stable. Now, repeat this process for the other seven buttons, and you should be good. After you've gotten all the buttons put in, just put the backplate back on, and you now have a Quanba crystal modded with Sanwa parts. Oh! <laughs>